I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to remove the Metapixel from your Shopify store. Now this is going to be the manual way and we'll be removing the Facebook pixel code from your Shopify theme. So let's head into our Shopify dashboard now and I'm going to go to online store on the left hand side. From there, this should open up my Shopify theme section and from there I can go and edit the code. Now before we do that, I'm going to recommend that you duplicate your current theme just in case you remove something that you don't mean to. And it's so much easier just to restore an older theme rather than trying to figure out what you did wrong. So if we hover over these three dots and you go to duplicate, this is going to create an exact copy of your current theme. Once that is done, we can go click on the three dots again and go down to edit code. So this is going to open up our Shopify code editor and it's going to apply to our current theme that is installed. So the file we're looking for is called theme.liquid. So you can search for it in the top left here, and I can see it's now shown up here. And so we're gonna see a whole bunch of code here. Different Shopify apps are also gonna have different things installed here. So it's gonna vary depending on what you have installed on your store. The easiest way to find this is to search for Facebook. So if I press Control F or Command F, and I search for Facebook in the search bar, hitting enter, this should bring you to a script tag as well as a no script tag that is your Facebook pixel. So typically this is included with comments. So the left arrow exclamation point dash dash and close with dash dash arrow is a comment here. It's gonna make it easier to find which pieces of code belong to maybe which apps or something like that. So I can see here that I can see Facebook pixel code and I can see end Facebook pixel code. And we can see one script tag here and a no script tag. And we can see there is Facebook URLs in here, which gives us even further indication that this is the Facebook or meta pixel code that we need to remove. Now to remove it, all we have to do is highlight over all of it. I'm going to include the comments in this remover as well, so I don't want to make it confusing going forward. And I'm just going to press delete or backspace. And then I'm going to click save in the top right here. And just like that, I've removed my Facebook pixel code from my Shopify store. And we can double check that it has been fully removed. If I go to exit here and I go and view my store, you can also just load your store URL exactly. If I make it so you can see my tabs here, I have what's called the Meta Pixel Helper extension. And this can be found on the Chrome Web Store. It's essentially a Chrome extension that makes it super easy to check if your pixel has been installed correctly and it is free to install. So if I go and reload my site again and I click on the Chrome extension, I can see no pixel found for my demo store. That's exactly what we're looking for as we don't wanna have this installed. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. You have your transaction fees, your refunds, your app expenses. These are all things you need to track manually and that can be a very tedious and time consuming process. But that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once it's set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations along with tons of different metrics and analytics so you can truly understand your Shopify store's performance. There's a link in the description below where you can get a 15 day free trial or you can find it directly on the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. Left. So this concludes the video here on how to remove your Metapixel. If this video helped in any way, it would mean a lot if you liked and subscribed to the video and the channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.